No one was here to represent artists and their incredible talent. What doesn't the world know about this? And how are we going to get our artists appreciated widely? The timing seems to be perfect for Adis Fine Art. Ya art sari kare jim tari. Ya gallery tari kare. But I'm a regime tariqa. This art gallery I think will introduce you to the, uh, to the outside world. The platform they provide for artists. It's my first time to come back to Ethiopia. I didn't expect to see such a white cube gallery space in Addis. And everybody's talking about it. First time I was privileged to see artwork by Ethiopian artists was 1996. I was just absolutely mesmerized. I started going to the 154 African Art Fair in London. The very first one I went to, there was no mention of Ethiopia at all. So that prompted me to do some research. In my research, I actually found Masai's gallery in LA. I've been doing this for quite some time, so I have a very uh, good relationship with a lot of Ethiopian artists. He was really one of the only people that knew about the art history of Ethiopia. Not just the contemporary stuff, but he knew about the modernists, he knew about where all of this stuff came from. Right after we met, Raku was very persistent to start you know, promoting Ethiopian artists. In terms of locations, of course our main space is here in Ethiopia, and we found that to be a really enriching experience for the gallery. I love this place. It has a very modern air to it. And there's been a lot of people coming to the opening, really engaging with the art. We can also provide a service to artists that really wasn't there before in terms of representation right here from where they live. To be able to link up with the outside world was just so important. You're giving Ethiopian art a lot of exposure at, the, at an international level. And also for the international audience to kind of come and visit and interact with artists here in Ethiopia. We've also found it very important to have an international presence. Our project space in London is the hub of all of the international work we do. It's a place where we can very directly engage with a lot of our international clients who circulate London more than they would do Ethiopia. I think you're in a position to hopefully educate a whole bunch of people about you know, African art. Since our inception, we've been doing around five fairs a year. The work that we do outside of Ethiopia obviously has caught you know, a lot of people's attention. It's a really exciting time for Addis Fine Arts and we have some incredible plans. Obviously we want to expand, have a bigger space. We want to build an in-house art collection, a national collection if you like. Additionally, a lot of our diaspora artists would love to come back home and produce work here. Ethiopia going through a massive change right now. Massive. It's feeding into a very interesting and vibrant cultural scene, including music, theatre, but also I mean, the visual arts. Now, Addis Fine Art is establishing itself as the first international gallery based out of the city. It adds value to the local cultural landscape. To the city, to the country, because there's hardly any gallery. For the young artists, it's very important to have this kind of gallery to inspire them. There's an aspiration from the Addis Fine Art team to really build something special here. To be here, helping create this new narrative you know, for this country and for us to be a part of it is just fantastic.